but I was lucky enough to find my first job in a hair salon as a hair stylist assistant. Uh, my first words that I learned were, were broom and to sweep and to clean and to, well, <laughs> but I think it's difficult. To, uh, but it was a great actually opportunity for me to learn language, uh, to learn about Canadian culture, to learn about new cooking recipes, <laughs> fashion <laughs> boutiques around, and whatever you can imagine in a hair salon can go on. And um, actually, two years ago uh, later, I I could speak uh, uh, pretty well to uh, to succeed uh, in my in my accounting uh, uh, path. T two years uh, ago, I moved from Ottawa to Toronto. So I started applying for accounting jobs in a field, and I, I write, uh, send out tons of resumes. I tried to work with agencies, but the on, uh, only answer was no Canadian experience, no jobs. That's it. <laughs> That's the story. And I'm not the only one. And uh, almost being frustrated and giving up and coming back to hairstyling. Uh, my friend uh, recommended me uh, that I can have to find a mentoring program within my field. And lucky enough, uh, through the internet, uh, I learned about Skills for Change and their mentoring program for accounting. After the short interview, I was, I was honored to join the pro mentoring program. It was a really big change for me. I, I couldn't imagine that people can put their own time to help uh, those uh, candidates like me, to uh, to help them succeed in this country, um, few, uh, and few weeks uh, later, I was introduced to Olga Gagarina, who generously uh, agreed to become my mentor. So sh she was my fir first mentor, and I was her first mentee, and it worked pretty well. Olga was a great example for me of a person who can succeed, and she had a job. She 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 was a mentor and she helped uh, other people and uh, with her we just sit and talk a lot a lot about how to succeed in a country in a new country and i'm still using uh, those uh, tips that i learned from skills for change in my uh, interviews that i have now uh, and at the end i would like to share a good news with you i found my first i would say real real job in in canada i'm uh, two, week, uh, two weeks from now, I start as a uh, financial analyst at a Bombardier, and they would. <laughs> Finally, I found a, a manager, or he found me. He accepted. <laughs> he accepted all my education from the Ukraine. He accepted my engineering background, accounting background, and he said that I can apply my knowledge there. And I think it's a great story. It's a great example of a person who succeeds. And but I couldn't make it without the help of the Skills for Change and the Mac Dream program. Thank you, Rosalind. Thank you, Olga. Thank you.